Hey guys, it's Brie. So today I'm going to talk to you about using cloth panty liners every day. Uh, you know, how to maintain them, is it too much of a hassle, when I started, and all of that good stuff, and how many you might need. So I have my used ones in this bag. I didn't count how many there are in here, but I have quite a few. And I have all these ones here which are clean, that I still can use, and I have in total 22, including the one I'm wearing right now. Which I think is an essence of Eve. We'll see. It actually took me almost a year to start using cloth panty liners every day. I'm not entirely sure why it took that long. I think it was just because I was ordering a lot of pads from America and um, it just made more sense to balance out the shipping if I chose pads that were bigger. You know, it just seemed like the shipping was cheaper if I had more expensive pads and obviously the more expensive pads are the pads that have higher absorbencies and bigger lengths and blah blah blah, you get the idea. So I didn't really buy many panty liners and I didn't use them every day. I was using the organic cotton NatraCare disposable liners. Um, but they just bunch up in the centre of my pants and I was just like, uh, I better try, you know, using cloth every day. So I decided I was going to buy some and the first thing I did was I bought the pack of three, um, two of them are used. So I've only got <clears throat> one here, the Imsa Vimsa liner. So one of them has purple surging, one has pink and one has orange sur surging, I think. So this is the purple one. Uh, one of them did also get dyed a weird colour. Hang on, I might be able to find that. Okay, so this is the back of it. I won't show you the front, obviously. But you can see it got kind of dyed purple. <laughs> by mistake, I put it in with one of my fabrics, I forgot, it was tucked at the top of the washing machine, I didn't see it, and I accidentally pulled it out, put it, left it in there when I was washing out one of my fabrics I dyed, so it got a bit stained in the process, but it looks cute now, so I don't really care. So Imza Vimza, they are organic cotton, they do have a layer of PUL in them, which I'm not too keen on with panty liners, I just find they tend to be too warm with that, and you don't need it for panty liners every day, unless you have, like, unless you need it for a dribble, I just use it for discharge really, because I get quite a bit discharged before I ovulate and then it's not so much afterwards but before definitely. So in some Imsa. And that's a good starting place as well because they come with two snaps and they were, they do go narrow enough for me to use them. They're not my favourite because I'm just not a fan of flannel but uh, they are really good and they're really soft and as I said it's organic cotton so it's good for sensitive skin. Um, I'll just go through the ones I have now. So these three here, the, the ones that are not soiled at the moment, I have three wingless liners from Green Cycle Pads, my friend Justine made them for me. I can't use them just because contoured shapes don't work for me, especially if it's wingless, it just bunches up again, so I don't tend to use them. I have two Pink Lemonade Shop Minky ones, I'm not a big fan of Minky. I do wear these though because they are really narrow and they work great for me. Uh, six inches is fine as well, I don't need a lot of coverage, but I tend to use them more in the winter months than the summer because it's just too hot for Minky. Uh, next is one of my very old ones that I made probably about a year ago as well. Um, I usually use it for menstrual cut backup because it's got a layer of toweling in it, which is quite a lot for a panty liner. But I do use it because it is narrow and it works. This is by a company who I have no idea. It's got a really cute print on it, like our Evelyn, but as you can see, it's just enormously wide. Uh, it feels really nice, but uh, I just can't use it because it's too wide. I have to look up who made this um, and put it down here. Then I have two of my pack of six Essence of Eve cloth pads. These are the panty liners. They're bamboo velour topped and they're all different colours. I love them. They're really, really soft. They've stayed soft amazingly throughout the washes. Bamboo doesn't usually stay that soft, but they have stayed soft. Um, they're nice and narrow. They fit the gusset on my underwear really well. They're perfectly good for that. I don't like them as much for everyday use just because I prefer cotton, but I love them when I'm menstruating and I use them as backup to a menstrual cup. They're great for that because I feel like it grips the blood if there is a little leak. There's almost always a tiny little speck of blood just because there's blood around the base of your cup and that's really impossible to get rid of. So I just wear a panty liner backup and it does the job great. Next I have an Eco Rainbow. I've got a set of three of these and I love them. These are by far my favourite pads uh, for panty liners every day now. They're cotton top. This one's got like a moon and star print. I've also got a kind of green print that's, you know, just leaves and stuff. And then a rainbow one of course because I love rainbows. Um, I love them. I'm going to have to see if Bex can make me some more actually because she's going on... I don't know if she's going on maternity leave but I know she's definitely pregnant and she's due in June I think. So hopefully I can get some more because I love them. I have a pile in my pants, this is like the free pimps liner, I didn't actually pay for this, someone sent it with for me in a D-stash, it just included it. Not a big fan, it's flannel and everything, but it works great and it's narrow so it does actually work for me. Not a fan of the nylon backing, but I can use it, it's not totally bad for me. Next is one I have from Boo Boo's Boutique, she's on Facebook, she makes nappies as well. 
Uh, this is really too wide for me. I added an extra snap on it, um, but I think it's just going to bunch up a little bit too much for me. And it's six inches long, which is not quite long enough. I find seven inches is better for me. But uh, it's a super cute print, so I'm really pleased about that. The next one is, the last one is actually Mimi's Dreams. This is a seven inch panty liner again. Again with the stitching on top and not through the back. Uh, I usually use this as backup to a menstrual cup, just simply because it's quite thick. It's not one of the thinner panty liners. But I, I love it when it's back up for menstrual cup because it does work really well and it does contour pretty nicely as well. So those are all the panty liners I currently have out. Now, as for using them, I was always really sceptical about using them because I thought, you know, it's kind of a hassle when you're using cloth menstrual pads if you have to soak them and put them in the washing machine. I don't mind doing that once a month because I think it's totally worth it over the disposable menstrual pads. But I was a bit sceptical on the uh, reusable cloth pads for every day, so cloth liners really. Um, but it's really, really easy. All you have to do is, when you've got these soiled, I literally just, I don't snap them up or anything, I just fold them up, no snapping. Take my wet bag, I'm not going to put this in here, but I would just drop this in here. And then, yeah, just drop it in there, none of them are snapped up. When it gets to the point that this stash is starting to run really low, um, I do use most of those pads, uh, just so you know, I've just got favourites and some I don't like as much as others. But yeah, I'll put them in here, and then when I start running low, what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll just put the whole thing in the washing machine. Wide open, like that. And then what I do is I add two scoops of Ecovert detergent. No um, stain remover and no fabric softener. Obviously, you know, fabric softeners aren't good for this stuff with menstrual pads or liners. So I put two scoops of that into the washing machine, and I just put it on a, a fast wash or, you know, a super wash, or however you would normally wash your laundry, everyday laundry. Uh, and obviously just put the detergent in. Then you take them out and they come out clean. You don't have to soak them, you don't have to stain treat them, they'll just come out perfectly clean. Um, which I was amazed at, so they're actually really, really easy. And also because they're panty liners, they don't have many layers in them, so they dry quickly as well. Um, this will easily be dry out in the air in a couple of hours, you know. Um, so yeah, they do, you can probably get away with doing this, if, depending on how often you want to wash your liners. Uh, if you just wash them every week, you know, at the end of every week, you only need about eight. So you have one for each day, and then on the seventh day, whilst you're washing them, you can have a separate one for the eighth, just in case, but you can wash them all, and then it'll probably be dry by the end of the day, so you've got enough to go through. But obviously if you want to do more, you might need 15, so you can do for two weeks. But I've got enough here, as I said, I've got 22. That will probably last me from the end of my menstrual cycle. I usually leave it so that if they if they get any blood on them, you will need to treat them with your other menstrual pads because the blood is what stains. But after you've stopped menstruating, you can use them every day and then at the end of my cycle, so kind of towards when I'm about to start menstruating again, a day or two before, I'll just put them on the wash and wash them so that I have plenty left for when I actually menstruate so that they can get washed and they'll come back obviously afterwards because I'll wash them with the menstrual pads. But it means that I can go the entire month just using cloth pads and then just wash them before I start my period and it's simple to do. So that is basically how you use cloth panty liners every day. It's really easy. I can't understand why it took so long to do it. I really should have started sooner. But um, I was just using the Organic Natural Care, but these are really, really good. I like them now. So thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.